Hey Mama Strong, my name is Mishu and I help moms find ways to enjoy self-care and be the best versions of themselves with affordable beauty. Today's makeup tutorial is a Thanksgiving makeup tutorial with uh, from Amazon. So all this makeup you can find it on Amazon. So yes, it will be linked down below and yes, the link will be affiliated but you don't have to use those links but if you want to use them i'll get a small percentage from the actual price that you're paying so no you're not paying extra all right let's get started first we're going to go ahead and start with primer this primer is especially for dry skin so if you have different skin type as me please use a um, primer that's convenient for your skin Waiting for the primer to dry, I'm gonna move on to this uh, brow pencil. I love this brow pencil, you guys know that. And I'm so happy that you can find it on Amazon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows. So shaping it first as always with the spoolie and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill it in after. And if you notice that mask on my forehead, Mama Strong, don't worry, it'll be gone as soon as we put foundation on. I didn't even notice that until I'm editing the video. So anyways, don't worry about it. It'll be gone. But anyways, if you are using the same foundation, please don't apply it directly on your face if you are using it on somebody else for sanitary reason. <laughs> anyways, I'm just using the uh, Wet n Wild foundation and then using a wet sponge from Real Techniques to apply it on. Make sure to spread it throughout your whole entire face. I forgot my e.l.f. mixer here, so that's why it's a little light on my face, but it's okay. We're going to make it work with the cream bronzer. This is the first time I'm using this brand and this uh, cream contour right here. But anyways, I'm going to use this to contour my face and just using this e.l.f. Uh, concealer brush to just apply it on. As you can see, I'm always using the same technique as pushing it on instead of dragging it for a better application and to make it uh, very blendable. And always make sure that you apply it a little bit higher than where your bronzer contour is supposed to be because once you put a um, powder on top of it, it's still going to go down where it's supposed to go. So make sure that you apply it the correct way to give you the correct look that it's supposed to. I never used to know about love. Thought I did until I knew your then I'm using the same palette. I'm just putting using the concealer from that palette under my eyes and on my T-zone with the same wet sponge. I didn't really go into much when it came to opening my heart. Then setting everything with this pressed powder, a very loved, well-loved powder from Rimmel. And I'm just gonna apply it with a fluffy brush all over the area that I put the concealer earlier. Okay, so this bronzer is a little cool toned for me as you all can see, but uh, I didn't have any choice, so this is what I had to grab. But anyways, if you find anything that's darker, use that. So I'm just applying the bronzer all over the cream uh, contour as we applied earlier. As always, make sure you tap it on, not drag it to, so that it's, um, it's well blended. Then I'm using the same technique, putting the cream bronzer on my nose first, then applying the powder after to um, make my nose look a little bit longer. This is contouring the nose. For blush, I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush palette. This is in the dark side. Uh, dark color and I'm just gonna apply it with a stippling brush because we all know that elf bronzer and blushes are very very pigmented so 
we want to be very careful with this I'm going to use this elf camo concealer in tan sand as my uh, brow highlight I guess I'm going to use this to make my brow a little bit cleaner and I'm also I'm going to I'm going to use it as a eyeshadow primer so as you can see I'm just putting it under my brows first and then I'm gonna put it on all over my lid with my hand then I'm going to go ahead and actually blend it more with a sponge because it was creasing then finally I'm going to set it with a the powder I was so excited to see this palette on Amazon Mama Strong but anyways I've had this palette for a long time as you all know I've had a lot of these products for a long time but uh, it's so perfect that you can find it on Amazon as well for all of you that would like to purchase them or would want to help me with my affiliate affiliate links anyways I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply that uh, color first and then I'm using a little bit of preci precision brush to put it under my brows as my under brow highlight after with the transition color always make sure to uh, blend well take your time to blend with any color really you need to take your time to blend because uh, that's that will give you the best result now I see that's why so this outer corner color is a little bit darker it's on the dark side so you want to really take your time for this you want to use a precision brush to apply it first but then use a little bit of a fluffy brush to blend it after i was having a little to be honest with you mama strong i was having hard time blending the color on top of the concealer i guess because it was still wet so it was very hard so if you can just take your time to put the powder on your lids before putting any eyeshadow on top of that concealer because it's a very wet concealer that it takes a while to you know to dry up anyways as you can see as you could see i brought the darker color on my lower lashes uh, before I apply this lighter color in the inner corner as always if you are doing this makeup on somebody else please use a brush not your fingers but uh, since I'm doing this on myself I'm using my finger it's it blends well and it warms out the color very good I'm bringing that same exact color down on my lower lashes to brighten up under my eyes. Then I'm using this uh, pointed brush right here from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And I'm just going to use this um, color right here. It's called Spicy. It's a little bit shimmery and bright. So I'm just going to use it. Uh, I'm going to wet the brush with my um, setting spray first. And then I'm going to use that to uh, brighten up my inner corner or my inner tear ducts so as you all know mama strong i do these videos before sp uh, school pick up and uh, during nap time so i was running out of time here and i was actually honestly i was already shaking here so that's why i really had to take my time to do this uh, the liner was not perfect and we all know how liquid eyeliner goes but anyways um, I'm just doing a simple liner and then at the end I, tr I decided to do a little wing at the end because um, my eyes look a little bit too droopy and I definitely didn't have enough time for lashes so I'm just gonna use this uh, lash primer oldie but goodie lash primer and then I'm just gonna apply it and use mascara on my up and butter um, upper and bottom lashes to enhance it a little bit it didn't do a much difference but uh, yeah i was in a hurry and you know you know how it is and usually during thanksgiving or any holidays we're always in a hurry too mama strong so we gotta do what you gotta do and get things done right <laughs> The world 
and I should have done this earlier but I'm actually bringing the darker color a little bit more on my lower lashes um, here just to darken up my lower lash a little bit more I should have done it before the mascara because I'm smudging the mascara but that's okay moving on to the lips now uh, the shade I thought the shade was more in the brown side than like purple side when I saw it online when I I saw the swatch so when I applied it it was a disaster I was very disappointed so I tried to top it off with another gloss and then I tried to top it off with another liquid lipstick so that's what you're seeing here I didn't want to cut anything off I wanted, I wanted to see the true struggle was real here mama strong so yeah this type of thing happens so always have a backup if you can okay <laughs> anyways so that's pretty much everything uh the look turned out a little okay i guess it's it's a fall it's a fall look so it's it's okay but it's not the perfect shade of lips as you can see i tried everything i could but it just didn't work out anyways uh, that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching mama strong please give it a thumbs up if you do like it and please please subscribe if you haven't done so yet it will help youtube push out my video and help my channel grow thank you for watching and happy thanksgiving mm -hmm.